this is how we think it'll look at the beginning, but they can move around as the game goes along. Yeah, we thought maybe there would be a formation change and switching to a four back instead. Yeah, and you know, with the amount of numbers that North Carolina like to get into the attack, the back four for the Seminoles have to be on the same page. A poor giveaway from Roque right off of the goal kick, and here they are again, putting themselves under pressure defensively, and when it's a small roster, Great step from Nesbeth, and she's going to break out now with numbers going forward for Florida State. Nesbeth looking through for Dudley. Here is Dudley cutting inside. Dudley against the run of play. The freshman gives the Seminoles the lead. North Carolina is to allow Florida State to hang on, not convert your chances, and then in these transitional moments, They'll make you pay. And look at that ball from Nesbeth, perfectly weighted into the path of Dudley. It allows her to take that first touch, cut against the defender's momentum right here, sets herself up, another touch to get out from underneath her feet, and then the third touch in the back of the net, just like that, against the run of play, away from home. All the momentum in the favor of North Carolina. Next side, Maggie. Dalene, working pass win, goes down, and it's a pass. Remember, it can be reviewed because it was given. Call it and then review it. So it can be reviewed, but initially penalty here for the Heels. Well, Delene has had a, a few good opportunities since coming in, and this is exactly what you want to do because we've talked about tired legs. That threw her off almost. Didn't expect her to commit so early. Now it's Delene to get it right back from the run of play. Delene, save, now put in. Hold it. And that forces in North Carolina to have to track those are the little areas of discipline that you have to stay focused in. And Swinger from Hoff, the header is in from Dudley! A brace for the freshman, and the Noles are back on top! Well, Dudley just showing her commitment, how good she is in the air, and this is going to be disappointing from a North Carolina standpoint because this is... Bella Sember creates some space. Sember plays it off her shores. Now Darlene. Darlene strike the flex off the post and in. Some luck that went their way. And UNC's level again. Well, this is when they're at their best. So they're getting numbers forward, being patient, a bit methodical. This is one of the better passages of play that we've seen from North Carolina, side to side, waiting for the runs to develop, and then just a bit of luck in the end, because Gilchrist does such a good job. Hands behind. Brilliant ball up the wing. Sentinor latches onto it. Sentinor. Floats it toward the back post! What a finish! Sentinor plays it through! Fossey finishes! UNC's ahead! Because they go, and they go with numbers, and they do it for 90 minutes. This time, Sentinor, the exact player that you want to get isolated, just splits the two defenders. But then watch her, she just gets her head up, picks out the pass, and this is where you have to be spot on if you're the opposition to North Carolina, defensively staying touch tight, EY in the wrong position. And then they've got it running. They still have an opportunity. They're gonna to try to get this one in, in play as quickly as possible from the left footed huff. Five seconds to go. Whipped in from the corner. Punched away by Allen. It's a goal at the depth to die. Wow. With one second to spare. less from this game. It is Nesbeth that attempts, allows for the second opportunity for Florida State. If she goes up against Allen, there it is. Does allow her to get a good, clean clearance and then the put back. And exactly what you would expect from this tight match, back and forth, end to end for both teams. And ultimately, a deserved tie because both teams have been... She will never forget her first career goal. That will do it for today. And what is going to be a game of the year candidate at the death. Two seconds left. A 3-3 tie between UNC and FSU.